Kayla Cox knows what's at stake. She's going to have to bring her best game. She's joined by Edmondson. Antonia. Going to have to deal with Lokunova in the paint. Shivana Paul Vast. Can use a good game from her as well. And of course, Kalani Purcell. New Zealand. Obviously, the tall ferns have the link. They got great size. So do the Russians. They start off with their player introductions. Olga Fokina, who also represented Russia at the U23 Nations League in 2019. She's joined by former MVP Anna Leshkovseva and Anastasia Lobunova. So there's your squad and Alexandra Stoliar, the Red Army against the Kiwis. 10 minutes on the game clock. A loss would put New Zealand out of the mix and lift Italy into the quarterfinals. So you know the Italians will be looking on intently in this one. And probably making a little noise for, uh, for Russia. The team that just beat them 18 to 10. So there's uh, Michaela Cox, originally from Auckland. Got plenty of game. Great leader. And uh, an Olympian as well. She represented uh, at the 2008 Olympic Games. Also won silver at the FIBA Oceania Championships four times. That's Michaela Cottons. She's decorated. She'd like to get some new uh, neckwear, preferably gold, here in Amsterdam. This game will decide if she indeed continues to move towards that goal. So here we go. It's on and popping. Purcell starts with it. Top of the key. She's guarded by Logunova. Burkina guarding on the wing on Edmondson Cox with the fake right. Jab step. She kicks it to Purcell. Purcell can't deliver from long range. Logunova. She can't either. Rattles off the rim. Purcell to Cox. Cox wide open. Still couldn't hit it. Recovers it. Steps through. Misses that one. Let's go, Seba. Doesn't receive the pass. That's because Edmondson gets in there for the steal. Marcel wanting to hand it off or fake the handoff. She faked me out and faked the D2. She gets in for the score. Again, New Zealand. They need not only to win, but they got to beat Russia by four. Score at least 18 points. Look at the sauce on that one from Kina. The difficult reverse. Put some sauce on it to finish and get Russia on the board one to one. Cox to Paul Vast. She's calling for the screen. Gets it over to Purcell. Purcell, baseline, goes up. No. Now from Kina to the corner. Logunova, gone. Straight to the rack. She got places to go, buckets to get. She got one, and a one-point lead for the Russians. Balavast lost her footing and throws it away. Ball over to Red as Leskovseva. She checks in for Kina, checks out. Stoliar with it at the top of the key. Stoliar, Leskovseva, Logunova, pull up, long, out of bounds. Off of red, over to New Zealand. So Russia took advantage of a slow start for Italy. They jumped out to a 9-1 to lead on the reigning champs. They're trying to prove that they're the true champs and win a third gold medal for the Russian ladies. 
As Paul Vast, oh, got to her spot, missed the layup, though. That's Kopseva. Oh. She's deed up. But in the process of being deed up, she was also fouled. So she steps up to the free throw line. And she's going to shoot one. And make one. Cox up fake. Pulls up on Leskop Seva. Stoyer now. Leskop Seva wants to screen. Fokina sets it. She rolls, but good deep from Cox and Edmondson. Shivana gives it up. Picks opposite. Now Edmondson to the left, to the left. Mm -mm. Missed it. Fokina mishandled the pass initially, regains it, scores it. Boss turn around. Not happening. So New Zealand needed to beat Russia by four. A win and score at least 18 points. Not as electric of a start as they had hoped for. But things can heat up quickly. Almost three minutes into the game. Kina got a hand on it, stays with New Zealand though. Kiwi's on the move. Let's go Seba. She got a hand on that. Shot clock wound down anyway. So, gonna be over the red with Stolier. Ready to go. Stolier to the corner for Kina. Parcel with the steal. And then Fokina swipes that out of bounds. So almost a fresh shot clock for New Zealand. They'll have 11 seconds when they come out of this break. Got to find a way to start stringing together some possessions. You know, the Russians, they're definitely going to show you that consistency. They hadn't picked up the type of success that they have had by being inconsistent. Said Russia was going for their third goal, actually their second goal. They took silver at the World Cup 2014. Gold 2017. The other gold I was talking about was gold at the Europe Cup 2014 and 17. Pull up, Purcell, buckets. Two-point lead for Russia. Logunova. Battle out. She follows the miss. Stays with it, goes up, and still misses. 6.25 and counting. Cox, crossover. Left to right. Sheva. Boom. Drives right past the D. New Zealand within one. They want to be in front, though. By four. Burkina sticking with it. Scores over Purcell. Purcell, straight to the hoop. So, so far, Russia with a one-point advantage. Both teams trading baskets here these past couple of possessions. Low Gunova, she fades away, got the shot off in time, but didn't make it. Pavast to Cox. Cox got a great look at the rim. Couldn't knock it down. She was a little bit out of gas, so Cox will check out. And get a breather. Or so she thought. Purcell is actually going to get the breather. Cox is still in. She's going to check up on Stoyar. Cheva against Leskop Seva. Bokina gets it back to Leskop Seva. And a 
6-4 lead now for Russia. Edmondson. Tough shot in the paint. Comes out of an empty. Let's go Seva. Got, oh, trying to drop a dime. Paul Vasco, heads up play. To get a hand on it. Knock it out of bounds. Make Russia start over from the top of the key. Five oh seven left in this one. Crucial game for New Zealand. Italy looking on. Feeling a lot better about their chances to get into the medal rounds. Although Purcell with the big block underneath. And the mid-range Jay Edmondson. Havas with the hustle. Fokina goes down to get it though. Logunova now on the move, working on Purcell. She gets the score on the layup. Purcell, good move on Logunova. So a one-point lead, seven to six, is where it stands right now. Nice pass, Logunova finishes it off. Two piece, no biscuit, and it's even at eight apiece. Foul called after, so New Zealand. Waking up now, they know what's at stake. They gotta win it by four, or score at least 18 in a win to keep their hopes alive. Nice pass, oh, for Kino. She missed the crib, though. So leaving the door open for New Zealand to take the lead here, but they close it by getting the steal. Stoliart. Tipped away, quick hands from Purcell. And we're under four minutes to play. Fairly low scorer. And plays into, obviously, Russia's favor. They aren't, they ain't, they ain't worried about nothing. They into the quarterfinals. They have not been beaten to this point here in Amsterdam. They want to keep it that way. Join the ranks of the unbeaten. China on the women's side. Spain on the women's side also. Undefeated from yesterday's action. Those quarterfinals are already set. Stoyar harassed by Cox. Logunova, quick move, baseline. Nowhere to go. Purcell had her locked up. A shot clock violation. Cox up fake. Cleared a little bit of space. Purcell trying to clear her way to the rim. Stole Yar uh, fouling her, though. Believe it or not, with 3.37 on the clock, that's the first Russian foul of the game. Foul number one. Cox getting to the rim. Turns direction on Logunova, but that's a tough shot to make against the size of Logunova. Leskov Seba over to Stoliar. Stoliar with a step at first on Paul Vaz. Paul Vaz trying to make up for it. Hip check. Fouled in the process of the shot. So she'll shoot one here. Stoliar, 26 years old. Good on the strike.
playing with the team since 2014. And a big addition as Edmondson gets the shot to go off the glass. Nine apiece. New Zealand got to get a win here. So come into the action two and one. Put themselves in position to uh, to potentially get into the medal rounds with a 17 to 11 win over Ukraine. After coming into the day one and one. Cox kicks it. Purcell shoots it. Little long on it. Tipped over by Cox. Now to Purcell. She says, come over, get the rock. Faker got to the crib instead. And that one's uh, out of bounds with seven seconds left on the shot clock. 2.44 left on the game clock. Cox moving, grooving. The spin and the win in the paint. 10-9 game. New Zealand in front. Quick pass from Kina. Has it swiped away from Purcell. Or by Purcell. So time also not on New Zealand's side. They need to get eight points in the next two minutes and 26 seconds. As Les Seva. Not only that, they need to get in front of Team Russia. They are by two now. Stolyar can't convert. So a two-point lead for New Zealand. Cox can make it four. She missed it, though. Stays 11-9. Edmondson doing her dance against Les Seva. Foul called on the drive. While shooting, only foul number two on Russia. But it does stop the clock with 155 left. And puts Edmondson on the strike with a chance to add to this Kiwi lead. 12-9 game. Edmondson. Misses at long range. Logunova, all oh, fouled by Cox. Didn't foul her hard enough. That's a whole lot of woman. Take a look at the drop step. That's just nothing but protein, nothing but scrimp. Meantime, it's now a one-point game. Make that a three-point game. It's a big hit from Paul Vosk as New Zealand now has 14 points. 18 is the magic number. And a four-point win. Right now, it's a three-point lead with 121 left. 14-11 game. Vincent Royette he said, clap your hands. Clap your hands. 14-11. Let's go, Zeva. Step through. Oh, missed it. Stolyar. Making things tough on Purcell. Purcell was trying to tip it out to Cox, but or to Paul Voss, rather. Paul Voss will check out. Cox will check in. Kina pulls the trigger and delivers. 14-13, big hit for Russia, who still trail it by one. Purcell driving, scoring. Oh, that's on the floor, doesn't count. But she will take a trip to the free throw line. New Zealand's cause not only trying to get a win, but win it by four and get to 18 points. She could have got that shot up a little bit sooner. She could have had an and one. 
Cox back rimmed it. Logunova gets the rebound. Tells Cox to get up off her. 14 to 13, New Zealand lead. Logunova. Nice fake. Steps through, scores on Purcell. No question about the foul on that. Only thing in question now is if Russia is going to go 4-0. 14 up, 20 seconds to go. And Logunova knocks it down to put Russia in front. The Italian fans cheering as much as the Russian fans, but that's a big hit from Purcell. New Zealand out by one, but they're running out of time. Again, they needed to win this one by four. Or win and score at least 18 points. They're not up by four. They may not be up at all, depending on how Stoyar does at the free throw line. Russia trailing by one. The Red Army keying in. How clutch will Stoyer be on this second free throw attempt to break a tie with 6.8 ticks remaining? She misses long, huge rebound. Stoyar smartly takes her time, cruises in, and Russia gets the win. That's your Tiso buzzer beater. Attacking the rack, still yard. And New Zealand's hopes to compete for goal here in Amsterdam are over and done with. They got close. Needed to get a win and they score at least 18 points or win it by four. They do neither. And here's a look at your T soap buzzer beta. The layup past Paul Vos with the T to the D. Purcell and Cox looking through the net as the Wilson Rock trickled his way down through. So how about the Russians? Congratulations to them. They do it. And they do it big. They go 4-0. Winning it at the buzzer. Courtesy of Stoliar. And she lets out a passionate yell. After a hard fought game, they go 4 0. They are the class of the group. But uh, Team Italy, they'll be in as the second squad.